For this video, we're going to be talking about Skinny Puppy, their vinyl versus their CDs, any pressing problems either might have, and what they look like for those who are curious. I'm not going to go too in-depth about the albums because enough has been said about them already, but they sure do look cool when they're all together, don't they? Ah, remission. On vinyl it's 6 tracks, but on the CD it's 11. So you're probably better off getting the CD, and you can just pick your favorite songs from there. Besides, this has been remastered a couple times, so chances are that the equalization is going to be better on the CD anyway. Bites is another album where the track listings vary a bit. See, on the CD you get 16 songs, on the European editions you get about 9 songs, but this is the Belgian edition and there's about 8 songs on this. Not to mention the artwork's slightly different because the font's different, and this picture right here, it's orange instead of black. The back artwork doesn't look much different, and this doesn't come with any special inserts, but it sounds incredible. If you wanted all the songs, you'd go ahead and get the CD, but for me, it was worth getting the vinyl just to hear Assimilate on full analog. Mind the Perpetual Intercourse. Apparently this didn't sell many copies because there's a hole punched right in the top corner. The vinyl version of Dig It is six minutes. The CD version of this album features the seven minute version of the song, which to me it just drags on way too long. Plus this album sounds absolutely cold anyway. It's worth hearing on vinyl just for the sake of that cold feeling. And of course you get this awesome photo insert and brief history with the band and their previous couple albums before this puts you in a nice time travel state. Cleanse Foam Manipulate doesn't suffer any sound quality problems with the CD or the vinyl. And it sounds absolutely awesome. It's layered, it's brilliant, and there were sounds on this that made me completely forget that it was made in 1987. Plus, the style of music that they were doing was just a bit unbelievable. It was way ahead of its time. No special inserts here, you just get this little lyrical thing right within the artwork. Vivisect 6, it's more heavy-handed, and it's cold, and it's scary. Ooh. Anyway, you got this nice big artwork right here. Nice little picture of the band, and all the lyrics. These four albums right here are relatively cheap and easy to find if you look in the right places. For Rabies, the CD is better than the vinyl because the original vinyl and the original album itself, the guitars were mixed too loud. And for the original CD and the original cassette, it was mastered improperly so the sound was really muffled. The remastered edition has the album name and the band name at the bottom, and the original one has it at the side kind of, with the track listing on the other side. Regardless of which, this remastered version, it's bright, it's mixed awesomely, and it sounds powerful. Ah yes, everybody's favorite. This one gets more rare and expensive as time goes on, unfortunately, but the sound is really good. Now, since the CD sounded great to begin with, the sound difference in the vinyl and CD aren't earth shattering, they're only minor. But the big difference is the artwork, because as you can see with the CD it's only like a close up of the artwork and with the vinyl it's more pushed back and it's more of a whole picture. The minor differences with the vinyl for example, on the song Tormentor certain synths and samples are pushed back a little bit. And on the song Grave Wisdom, with the kick drum at the beginning, it sounds like there's a little more punch to it. But the vinyl is definitely worth having in your collection, even if it's just for the artwork itself. Last Rite suffered some terrible pressing problems too, because the initial pressings, the tracks were separated at the wrong times. And also, some editions left track 10 blank and just skipped to track 11. This remastered edition only has 10 songs and just doesn't have any blank tracks. As for the vinyl, there were two vinyl pressings. The original one, it's all one vinyl, and it's pretty rare. The other vinyl is a 2 LP pressing which sounds a lot better and sounds really awesome, but it's also excruciatingly expensive. So in this case, just because of the pricing, you're better off with the CD. Unfortunately, The Process and Handover were the only two albums that weren't pressed to vinyl. And why should they bother? It was so painful trying to make these albums and trying to get them released that why would you even want to bother trying to press them? That covers the main section I want to talk about. But I want to briefly go over Mythmaker right here. See, the, the only one of their post-reunion albums that haven't been pressed to vinyl is Handover. And for these, the only one I have is Mythmaker. And it sounds good, but doesn't sound terribly different from the CD. I mean, it's, it still sounds good and sounds slightly different, but not earth-shattering. It's probably because they were all recorded so electronically that there's not much of a difference there. Of course, they still come with their download card, Black Vinyl. Ah, Great or Wrong of the Right. That artwork looks so majestic, doesn't it? Take a look at that. Yeah, it looks like Symphonies of Sickness. And this looks like the censored version of Symphonies of Sickness. Handover took a couple years after it was completed to be released because the record label didn't have enough money to release it at the time. So even into the 2000s, Skinny Puppy was having plenty of pressing and record label problems. Then there's Weapon. Yeah, the spider. 
This is their best of their post-reunion albums. Wait, the spider in Too Dark Park? Could that be the spider on Weapon? Look! I mean, they're practically at the same angle. Look! Old School Industrial always sounds awesome on vinyl. It's so warm, but it's so clinical at the same time. Maybe it's the wax and the noise that makes it sound human. Thanks for watching. Take care.